Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you for joining me today. Hope you're all doing well. This is my Finishing the Bible in One Year Project, Day 16. Day 16, everybody. So, today we are be reading Genesis 46 and 47. They're a little bit bigger chapters, so we're just going to be reading two. So... As usual, I just want to state I'm using BlueLaterBible.org. It's a great site. I love it. And we're using the King James Version. So, Genesis 46. So, the last chapter yesterday, uh, basically Jacob reveals to his brothers that he's their brother. And he invites them all to come live in Egypt. And I think the Pharaoh heard about it and told him that he could bring his family here too um so then uh i guess they went back and jacob is gonna come to egypt to be near joseph um so that's where we're at in the story jacob moves to egypt genesis 46 1 let's get started guys <clears throat> And Israel took his journey with all that he had, and came to Beersheba, and offered sacrifices unto God of his father Isaac. And God spake unto Israel in the visions of the night, and said, Jacob, Jacob. And he said, Here I am. And he said, I am God, the God of thy father. Fear not to go down into Egypt, for I will there make of thee a great nation. I will go down with thee into Egypt, and I will also surely bring thee up again. And Joseph shall put his hand upon thine eyes. And Jacob rose from Beersheba, and the sons of Israel carried Jacob their father, and their little ones, and their wives, in the wagons which Pharaoh had sent to carry him. And they took their cattle and their goods, which they had gotten in the land of Canaan, and came into Egypt, Jacob and all of his seed with him. His sons and his sons' sons with him, his daughters and his sons' daughters, and all his seed brought with he with him into Egypt. And these are the names of the children of Israel which came into Egypt. Oh, here we go, guys. These are the, this is the names part. Okay, let's just try to power through this. <clears throat> Genesis 46 8. Jacob and his sons, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, and the sons of Reuben, Hanak, and Palu, Falu, and Herzon, uh, Hezron, and Carmi. Sorry, guys, just by the way, sorry in advance for the, for the pronunciation. And the sons of Simon, Jamul, and Jamin, and Ohad, and Jachin, and Zohar, and Shaul, the son of Canaanitish woman. The sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. The sons of Judah, Er, and Onan, and Shelah, and Perez, and Zerah. And, but Er and Onan died in the land of Canaan. And the sons of Perez were Hezron, and Hamul. And the sons of Issachar, Tola, and Puva, and Job, and Shimron. And the sons of Zebulun. Sered, and Elon, and Jahel. These be the sons of Leah, which she bare unto Jacob, and Padanaram with his daughter uh, Dina. All the souls of his sons and daughters were thirty and three. The sons of Gad, Ziphion, and Hagi, and Shuni, Ezbon, and Eri, and Arodi, and Ereli. The sons of Ashir, Jimna, and Ishua, and Isui, and Berai, and Sarah, their sister, and the sons of Berai, Heber, and Malkiel. These are the sons of Zuppa, whom Laban gave to Leah his daughter, and these she bare unto Jacob, even sixteen souls. The sons of Jacob's wife, Joseph and Benjamin, unto the Jos un and unto Joseph in the land of Egypt were born Manasseh and Ephraim, which Anaseth, the daughter of Potiphar, a priest of On bare unto him. And the sons of Benjamin were Bela and Bechor and Ashbel, Gera, Naam, Edhi and Rosh, Mopin and Hupim and Ard. These are the sons of Rachel which were born to Jacob. All the souls were fourteen. The sons of Dan, Hashim, and the sons of Naphtali, Gazil, and Guni, and Jezer, and Shalim. These are the sons of Bigha, which Laban gave unto Rachel his daughter, and she bare these unto Jacob. All the souls were seven. All and all the souls that came with Jacob into Egypt, which came out of his loins, besides Jacob's sons' wives, all the souls were three score and six. The sons of Joseph, which were born in him, 
uh, born him in Egypt were two souls, only souls of his house of Jacob, which came into Egypt were three score and ten. And he sent Judah before him unto Joseph to direct his face unto Goshen, and they came into land of Goshen. And Joseph made ready his chariot and went up to meet Israel, his father, to Goshen, and presented himself unto him. And he fell on his neck and wept on his neck a good while. And Israel said unto Joseph, Now let me die, since I have seen thy face, because thou art yet alive. And Joseph said unto his brethren and unto his father's house, I will go up and shew Pharaoh, and say unto him, My brethren in my father's house, which were in the land of Canaan, are come unto me. And the men are shepherds, for their trade hath been to feed cattle, and they have brought their flocks and their herds, and all that they have. And it shall come to pass, when Pharaoh shall call you, and shall say, What is your occupation? That ye shall say, Thy servant's trade hath been about cattle from our youth even until now, both we and also our fathers, that ye may dwell in the land of Goshen, for every shepherd is an abomination unto the shep Egyptians. Huh. A shepherd is an abomination to the Egyptians? That's kind of weird. Okay, that was Genesis chapter uh, 46 on to 47. Jacob's family settles in Goshen. Genesis 47.1 then Joseph came and told Pharaoh and said, My father, my brethren, and their flocks, and their herds, and all that they have, are come out of the land of Canaan, and behold, they are in the land of Goshen. And he took some of his brethren, even five men, and presented them unto Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said unto his brethren, What is your occupation? And they said unto Pharaoh, Thy servants are shepherds, both we and also our fathers. What? So they told the truth? <clears throat> anyway, 47.4. They said moreover unto Pharaoh, For to sojourn in the land are we come, for thy servants have no pasture for their flocks, for the famine is sore in the land of Canaan. Now therefore we pray thee, let thy servants dwell in the land of Goshen. And the Pharaoh spake unto Joseph, saying, Thy father and thy brethren are come unto thee. The land of Egypt is before thee, the best of the land, thy father and brethren to dwell. In the land of Goshen let them dwell, and if thou knowest any men of activity among them, then make them the rulers over my cattle. And Joseph brought in Jacob his father, and set him before Pharaoh. And Jacob blessed Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said unto Jacob, How old art thou? And Jacob said unto Pharaoh, The days of the years of my pilgrimage are a hundred and thirty years. Few and evil have the days of the years of my life been, and I have not yet attained unto the days of the years of my life of my fathers in the days of their pilgrimage. And Jacob blessed Pharaoh, and went out from before Pharaoh. And Joseph placed his father and his brethren, and gave them a possession of the land of Egypt, in the best of the land, in the land of Remesis, as Pharaoh had commanded. And Joseph nourished his father and his brethren, and all his father's household, with bread according to their families. And there was no bread in all the land, for the famine was very sore in the land of Egypt, and all the land of Canaan fainted by reason of famine. And Joseph gathered up all the money that was found in the land of Egypt in the land of Canaan for the corn which they brought, bought. And Joseph bought, brought the money into Pharaoh's house. And when the money failed in the land of Egypt in the land of Canaan, all the Egyptians came unto Joseph and said, Give us bread, for why should we die in thy presence? For the money faileth. And Joseph said, Give your cattle, and I'll give you for your cattle, if money faileth. And brought the cattle unto Joseph, and Joseph gave them bread in exchange for horses, and for flocks, and for the cattle, the herds, and for the asses, and he fed them with bread for all the cattle for that year. And when that year was ended, they came unto him for a second year, and said unto him, We will not hide it from my Lord, how that our money is spent. My Lord also hath our herds of cattle, but there is not aught left in the sight of my Lord, but our bodies and our lands. Wherefore shall we die before thine eyes, both we and our land? Buy us in our land for bread, and we in our land will be servants unto Pharaoh. And give us seed that we may live and not die, that the land be not desolate. And Joseph bought all the land of Egypt for Pharaoh. For the Egyptians sold every man his field, because the famine prevailed over them. So the land became Pharaoh's. And as for the people, he removed them to cities from one end of the borders of Egypt, even to the other end thereof. Only the land of the priests bought he not, for the priests had a portion assigned them of Pharaoh, and did eat their portion which Pharaoh gave them, wherefore they sold not their lands. Then Joseph said unto the people, Behold, I have bought you this day, and your land for Pharaoh. Lo, here is seed for you, and ye shall sow the land. 
and it shall come to pass in the increase that ye shall give the fifth part unto Pharaoh, and four parts shall be your own, for the seed of the field, and for your food, and for them of your households, for all your little ones, food for your little ones. And he said, If thou hast saved our lives, let us find grace in the sight of my Lord, and we will be Pharaoh's servants. Joseph made it a law over the land of Egypt unto this day, that Pharaoh should have the fifth part except the land of the priests only, which became not Pharaoh's. And Israel dwelt in the land of Egypt, in the country of Goshen, and they had possessions therein, and grew and multiplied exceedingly. And Jacob lived in the land of Egypt seventeen years, so the whole age of Jacob was a hundred forty and seven years. And the time drew nigh that Israel must die, and he called us in Joseph and said unto him, if now I have found grace in thy sight, put, I pray thee, thy hand under my thigh, and deal kindly and truly with me. Bury me night, not, I pray thee, in Egypt. But I will lie with my fathers, and thou shalt carry me out of Egypt, and bury me in the burying place. And he said, I will do as thou hast said. And he said, Swear unto me. And he swore unto him. And Israel bowed himself upon the bed's head. Mm. Wow, guys. That's sad. There goes Israel aka Jacob so Jacob's time has passed I guess it's just Joseph's time next uh, chapter 48 so that that's gonna be it for today guys uh, just two chapters tomorrow I believe is just two chapters let me just double check real quick no tomorrow's three chapters finishing off uh, Genesis so tomorrow is the end of Genesis guys Wow the end of Genesis so we would have read a whole book of the Bible in 17 days. Wow. So, yeah, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm just going to do a small, uh, short prayer. Dear Lord, thank you so much for letting us uh, have the privilege of reading your word and knowing you more. Please uh, give us wisdom and knowledge in this uh, troubling time and help us to grow more in faith and get closer to you. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you have done and will do for us. In your precious holy name. Amen. Thank you guys again. Hope you have a good evening, morning, night, wherever you're at. And I hope I see you tomorrow. Let me know down in the comments, guys, if you have any, um, well, comments <laughs> about, uh, you know, the whole Jacob situation and uh, what you guys think. So thanks again, guys. TTFN, Tots off for now. Have a good one and God bless. And remember, put God first in everything you do. See you later. Bye-bye.